Occasionally, I fall into a trap of comparison, and occasionally I fall into that feeling of, I'm not doing enough, I should be marketing more, I should be hustling more, I should be hiring people, I should be creating more products, I should be expanding my brand, you know, people sometimes think that I'm a good marketer simply because I've been consistently creating content for 20 years and so eventually you put enough things online and you saturate search results and things. So, you know, I have a thousand videos on YouTube, you search for Burning Man, eventually you're going to run into me. Not because of any tagging that I've done, not because of keyword specialization or SEO stuff I've done, just because pure brunt volume. But occasionally I fall into this feeling like, I should be doing better, I should be doing more, I should be doing more. And I'll see people who have come onto the scene or that have, have become somewhat peers or doing things similar to me that I've seen take off and, and just go become so powerful in the world and have these big audiences and, and I am thrilled that the collective healing love vibe is growing. And then I have these twinges of like, should, are you lazy? Should you be doing more? Why aren't you doing more? And, and I share occasionally when I get these reminders of like, okay, there's different ways to create impact. There is one way that involves a significant amount of hustle and push and don't take no for an answer. Second place is the first person to lose. Like, uh, 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 and that works for a lot of people. I have generally tried to put most of my energy into the power and the strength of the integrity in, my, in this moment and trying to have enough strength in that authenticity that I get out of the way and truth can flow through me. So it's not my power, not my strength, not my hustle, but it is simply an allowing of truth to come through. And if it is true, if I am not impeding it with my issues and my desires and my ego, then that power is strong enough that it resonates with people and the ripples are created, not because of my will, but because of the truth of the expression. And Recently, I've had a bunch of those reminders, one from the children that have gone to First Saturdays and interacted with the homeless and then looked for ways to be more impactful in their world, doing clothing drives at their schools and uh, backpack drives. And you know, I get these, these emails from their parents saying, hey, do we have permission to use the logo on this flyer that my kid made on his own because he was inspired to do this? And it's like, oh my God, yes, you have permission. And this, this is the most profound example of success that I can imagine. More than opening up branch for Saturdays in different cities, even though there is a branch in Antelope Valley now, and there has been, been one in San Francisco. But when that one shut down in San Francisco, it just felt like, well, that's the natural flow and the pattern of things. I didn't feel like, oh man, now we're, we're, we're smaller than we once were. Uh. And so I get these, these powerful affirmations, like through these children's actions, that the tr not, nothing I've done, but the truth that is, I've allowed has rippled. And then I had one thing that happened last week where I got this email that was super heavy. And it started off by saying, I thought I knew what I was going to say, but I'm just going to start writing and it's going to be long. And so thanks for listening. And it started out with childhood sexual abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse, rapes, betrayal. I mean, it was trying to establish the life history that had led to a grown up who was super shy, struggled with interacting with people and trusting people, and who had kind of built up a obesity boundary protective layer that just contributed more to their fear of interacting with people. And it was so fucking heavy. And it was 
it was a hard thing to like open my heart and and hear and at the end of it she mentioned that she had a boyfriend that she'd had for a number of years who accepted her and who helped her and and the two of them had you know a number of uh, quirks that allowed them to be patient with each other's quirks and then last year her boyfriend went to Burning Man on his own and had a transformative experience came back and said she said he's a different person and he keeps saying you have to go you have to go you have to go and she was so scared and so afraid of, you know, you see pictures and videos of, you know, young, beautiful, sexy people dancing, and it can be distracting to think that that's what's at Burning Man. And so she said that about two months ago, she started just devouring my videos and had this profound sense of being accepted and being loved and that she would be welcome there. And so that she is attending and plan on getting married with her fiance. And so she just had all this words of appreciation. And it was this feeling of like, oh, there's this one voice on my shoulder that's saying like, you don't work hard enough. You party too much. You should meditate more. You should, you should, you should, you should, you should. And then as I'm reading this woman's like, like intense reaching out, it was so clear, like, it was whatever I'm doing, whoever I am, whatever truth I'm letting to flow through me as flawed and fucked up as I am, that truth is exactly what this beautiful broken person needed to hear. So who am I to think that that expression is wrong or flawed or needs changing? The medicine worked. I'm not the doctor. I don't prescribe. I don't diagnose. Just sing my song, and if people dance to it, we all win. So I say that as a reminder to myself and to you that if you get those voices saying, should, 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 feeling like you're not enough, you're not big enough, not doing enough, not getting the, the praise and affirmation or the audience that you think that you should have. You have no idea how important your truth is. All we can know is that our truth is our path. Our truth is our medicine. Our truth is our healing for ourselves and the universe. So, I send out massive love to this woman. I look forward to hugging in person in the dust. And I look forward to doing whatever I can to encourage you to share your truth, to be the medicine, because I feel it. Thank you. I love you. Excuse me. Pardon me. Because I've got um, scruff, I always have to check after I blow my nose that I don't have like Kleenex burrs, like facial dingleberries. Oh boy, that's a terrible term. Don't don't quote me on that.